Hello, hello, and welcome to episode two from the AP Vanilla Server. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. All right, last time we got just a little bit of this stuff set up, but today I'm going to start working on that home house, and I've changed my plans a little bit of where I'm going to put it. I'm not going to put it over there. Um, I'm going to show you where, but not quite yet, because first I need to go get some supplies. We need some dark oak and some spruce, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in this boat. Maybe. There we go. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, float around and try to try to find some of that stuff. So wish me luck. All right. I got uh, some dark oak. I got some spruce over there and I even grabbed some vines on the way over. Well, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I thought I was getting attacked and it grew up right there. Oof. All right. Well, heart attacks over for the night. But yeah, anyway, I've uh, I got all the stuff I need. So I'm going to go ahead and grow some of these and chop down some of these trees. And then uh, we're going to get over to where I'm actually going to build that haunted house. And I'm just going to lay out the basic design of it today, I think. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, let me uh, get all this done and I'll meet you over there. All right, I got some of this stuff. Let's just go ahead and head over and I'll show you what I'm thinking about. Uh, yeah, so I was going to put it behind me on the uh, the little land I've got over there, but I decided that there's a little mountain right over here. Not a mountain, but like an island with a little, like a hill on top, I guess. And I think that would be a good spot for a little haunted area, which is it over here. It might be right by this bee. I think that might be it right there. Okay, the island is right next to spawn. It's actually right underneath this bee here, and it's this mountain island right here. So... Let's go out there and uh, take a look around a little bit. Yeah, right here. This is where I want to build the uh, haunted house. It's going to be like a whole haunted area. We're going to have a graveyard and all that kind of stuff around here. But let's go ahead and just uh, dig all these trees out. I don't want any of these trees here because I've actually got to terraform this a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started working on that. Have I ever mentioned how much I love fast leaf decay? Because that's pretty cool. That works real nice. Okay, all the trees are gone. Now it's time to get rid of all this dirt. Okay, flatten this place out a little bit here, and now we're going to start working on the actual size of the building here. So, i got to figure out where I actually want this thing to line up, and then I'm just going to go ahead and start working on it. Okay, this is going to be the general layout of the house here. Now, this is going to be a, sc a scary haunted house, so we've got to do a lot of different things to make this scary. But for right now, we're just going to build up the skeleton of it, just kind of give it a little bit of height and stuff like that today to get the basics of it. And I need... I need to get rid of some of these things. I'm going to need a bunch of this stuff because that's pretty much what we're building it out of. I'm going to grab a bunch of that. I'll probably need some of this too. Although I might not do the roof and stuff right now. I might just build the walls. So let's just go ahead and get started working on that. So it's going to be... One, two... That's too wide. I need it... I need this over here. They already screwed up. Okay, yeah, it's going to be about this size. So let's go ahead and light this up so nothing starts spawning inside here. Because that would really suck. Let me go ahead and put the floor in too, just so I don't fall down any of those little cracks there. All right, well, I'm running low on iron and I need some more diamonds. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, digging some more stuff out and try to find some of the, that stuff while I'm letting these trees grow because I got, I need, yeah, I don't have a whole lot done yet, but I need, I need a lot more stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start trying to find some diamonds and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I was uh, digging around this little mine shaft or this uh, thing here, this cavern, whatever this is called, and I found the mine shaft. So that's exciting. So now I've got a bunch of these. Definitely can use a string. Oh, this is great. I can make a mob farm soon now. Okay, so I log back on the server and I find this. This is a map that Creeperbox made. And uh, yeah, he's uh, kind of mapping out where everybody is here. And he wants us to take the map with us whenever we go on a little adventure. So I think I'm going to go on an adventure. Let me get this. I just noticed that one right there. <laughs> um, I'm going to go on an adventure. We need to get some uh, villagers over here because... Um, I'm running out of iron, and I can make an iron farm very easily with them, and we need to get some better tools and stuff like that. So yeah, villagers are kind of a must. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. 
And I was looking at the uh, midst program and there's a village right in this area here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a boat and we're going to head over there. And we should probably take that map with us. So let's do that. Oops, hit the wrong button. There we go. All right, let's go to that. Go get that boat and uh, head over to that village and see if we can find some people. Okay, here is this village. And I know Shadow is uh, kind of taking up residence over there <laughs> um, with his ginormous island he's making. Oh, my gosh. I don't think it's been in a video yet, but yeah, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's huge. Um, I'm hoping he hasn't taken all the villagers out of here yet because this is the whole reason I came over here because this is by far the closest village. And I don't see anybody anywhere around. Yeah, no villagers left, but these are still here, so I'm going to see if there's anything inside of it. Nope, it's cleared out. I'm assuming this one is too. And that one over there, and this one over here. Actually, I'm going to check this one first. I mean, fishing rod, we'll take that. We'll take the coal too. I mean, why not? Okay, well, the second village was also a bust because that's been cleared out because I don't know who it is, but somebody's got some blue stuff over there, so it must have been, uh, must have taken this one. Well, I got a villager. Um, I had to go to Creeper's Place right there behind me to get it because every village around here has already been raided and there's no, no villagers left. So he was kind enough to give me a couple. This is my first one. I'm going to run back over to my base, drop this guy off, and then get another one. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I got the second villager, and I also stole a potato and a carrot from him because I need both of those. So Creeper's awesome. I'm definitely going to give him a present once I get some stuff going on. But yeah, heading back to the base, and then uh, we'll be making a... Uh, uh, villager, breeder, and all that kind of stuff. All right, I'll be right back. All right, going to give you a little bit of a progress update here. I've done a little bit more to the, the place around here. Also, this map looks like it's updated. Let me go check that out real quick, see what else we got. Yeah, it looks like it's getting a little bit more covered over there and a little bit more over there, I think, and maybe a little over there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. But yeah, I've done a little bit of updating to the place. Got a lot of trees growing here. But over here, the slime farm, I've got that working now. It's not extremely efficient yet. Um, this is one that's a really, really simple to build, especially early on in the game. There's actually no, like, moving parts, so it's actually never going to break. All it does is fall down that hole, and then you come over here, and all you got to do at the beginning of the stages, and you go, this is just run around, and I don't think I'm going to have any slime in here. I actually just grabbed a bunch. Um, but you just run around and grab the slime from the four different corners here. But let me show you how this works real quick. I believe this is a Nimbon design. Um, came out with it a couple a couple months ago, I believe. So if I remember, I will put it the uh, the link in the or the yeah the link in the description here. Oh, there I got a slime dying right over there right now. Okay, so you can see exactly how it works. Slime spawn over here, and then you can obviously make this more layers and stuff. But then they eventually make their way over here. They get into the water. It pushes them over. They're gonna uh, the big ones are gonna get killed by that lava, and the smaller ones are gonna killed by the magma blocks over there. And um, eventually all of this ground is going to be magma cubes, so they die a lot quicker, so it'll, move, you know, it'll work a lot quicker, and then I'm going to have a lot more uh, layers to this and have a glass ceiling so it just works a little bit better. But yeah, this is a super, super simple design. It didn't take that long to make, and it's already, I mean, it's gotten me, it's gotten me quite a few things already. I've got six of those plus three of those, and I think I've got a few more back at the base. But yeah, that is all done, so it is working right now, obviously not extremely functional, but... It's, it's working. It's getting me a little bit of slime here and there. Just like a... It just works while I'm busy doing other things around here. I also went around and uh, kind of lit up some of the caves, but I think I'm going to uh, have to do a lot more cave lighting because there's... Yeah, the if there's no other place for the mobs to spawn when you're the only one on the server, then they're all, all the slimes are going to spawn down there and it's going to be like much improved uh, slime farm. But over here, let me show you this real quick. I've killed a whole bunch of cows and a bunch of them got out actually. I got my villagers down in this thing. I've only got two so far. And then down here, I've got this enchanting table. And I've only got 25 levels. I actually did die uh, once. Um, I was in that uh, that uh, mine shaft, and a cave cave spider got me because I'm just stupid. I, I suck at, at not dying. I suck at living in this game is really what it is. But yeah, so I got all that. I did that. I got some... Uh, Oh, actually, I'm going to go show you the uh, the haunted house real quick, show you what all is done on there. I know I did some time lapses for it, but we'll just give you a little tour of it real quick. And then uh, I'm planning on opening a shop because I feel like I'm a little bit further behind than pretty much everybody else on the server. The server's been open for uh, a week today, actually, and uh, I think I might be the only one that doesn't have a shop yet. So I'm going to fix that today. Um, I don't have really a whole lot to sell right now, but I'll kind of explain what my thought process is. 
and the shop that I'm going to be doing once I get over there. But yeah, check that out. That house is looking a lot bigger than, you know, it was a couple days ago. It's taking me a few days to work on it because I don't have a whole lot of time to do this stuff. But yeah, it's coming in quite nicely now. Right next to this boat, which looks like it's uh, actually been updated with some new sails, I believe. I don't think they were all quite on there last time. I'm pretty sure there were none of this uh, the sails were on there. So he's definitely been doing a lot of work on there. But let's run up here and just show you the inside of this house and kind of give you a basic idea of what I'm planning on doing with it. Okay, I need to terraform this entire thing because right here, there's going to be a graveyard. And I think, I think Thrillash might be putting in a graveyard over here. Uh, I kind of mentioned it on the... Uh, on the chat the other day when we were playing the game and uh yeah he said he, he'd be interested in doing that so i'm definitely gonna talk to him a little bit about that but yeah i got a lot of detail of this done i'm not exactly sure about the uh the sighting with the uh spruce trap doors and all that i don't know if i really like that or not but yeah inside it's just blanked right now there's nothing going on in here you do have three levels i, I kind of want to make this like a, a maze and like a, a thing where you like pay to get in maybe a diamond or two diamonds or whatever to get into it and then if you make it all the way to the end and go through a maze and all that kind of stuff, I kind of want to do like a, a corn maze, even though we don't really have corn in this game. I might do like um, a hay bale maze or something like that. Make it kind of spooky. And if you get all the way through it and find the find the little secrets or something, I don't really know what I want to do. But I want to have like little uh, prizes, like little fun things that you can you can get at the end of it. Um, so, yeah, I got a lot of work to do with this. I've only got a couple weeks left till uh, Halloween, so I really got to get on it. But in order to do that, I need some more diamonds because I need to buy some stuff. Because uh, right now I'm still I'm still rocking my first uh, armor, and I I only have two more diamonds left to my name, and that is not enough. So I need to make diamonds. So I need to make a shop. So let's run over there real quick. All right, there are quite a few shops. That were, what is this one? There's like a board right here. What is this? AP Vanilla Notice Board. All right. Wanted dies. Contact Shadow Fox for details. Wanted iron. Contact Shadow Fox for details. All right, well, I will contact Shadow Fox because I'm going to have iron fairly soon. And that is part of the uh, the shop I'm going to put over here. This is Shadow Fox's uh, this is a Shady Nook. It's got a bunch of books in there. He's actually trying to buy a bunch of bunch of dirt and things like that because he's got a lot. And it would reserve space there. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff popping in over here. So I want to get in on this. And I think I'm going to put one, just a temporary little shop maybe maybe right over here i think we're going to do it right here so my idea for the shop is actually i gotta tell you about my idea for my base too um my base i'm gonna make a bunch of farms like i'm gonna have iron farm i'm gonna have mob farm I'm gonna have you know slime farm i've got working now just a ton of different things and i want to sell a pass like a a limited time only kind of thing where you can get in and use my whatever that i have in my inventory um, I'm going to have this, like, all of my farms lead into my, like, a, an item sorter and go into my inventory there. And I'm going to have a, a public-ish, like, I guess, I guess you can, like, pay to get into a certain area of the storage and just take whatever you want. Unlimited for the rest of the server, rest of the time on the server. So it's a lifetime pass to my uh, inventory over there. So I'm going to sell it for, I think, I'm only going to sell... I can't decide if I want to sell three or five or somewhere in there. I might do just three just to make it more like exclusive and charge like a full stack of diamonds for it. This is going to be a good deal because I'm going to have a lot of stuff that I'm going to have in there and they will be able to get basically unlimited most anything that they want like honey, slime, iron, just whatever. I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff over there and uh, yeah, they can have it unlimited basically for the rest, rest of the server, rest of the time on here. So. I think it's a really, really good deal. I just have to make a little a little shop here to uh, to signify that and try to hopefully get some buyers because I have two diamonds and I need some more. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let me think of a design real quick and uh, get that going. Okay, the hardest part about uh, making this build is finding squid to make the books. So yeah, I've been like floating around here for quite a while looking for one squid. I can't find any. I've got enough uh, feathers and stuff, but... Yeah, squid. The elusive squid is throwing me off. All right, here we go. This is my little pop-up shop here. This is limited time only. Invest in your future today only while supplies last. Let me read you this little thing here. All right, invest in your future with Blinz Pass. Hi, my name is Blinz, and I have an amazing deal just for you. This season, I plan on focusing almost all of my attention producing goods and services for my fellow Vanillians. I, I didn't know what to call us, so I just went with that. I will have several shops on the server where you will be able to buy virtually anything you need in this game. 
One way to do that is by creating a massive amount of farms to keep up with the demand. My offer today gives you complete access to these farms. You heard me right. With Blend's Pass, you will be granted exclusive access to Blend's personal inventory of everything produced by these farms. Buy now and save later. This limited time offer grants you access to all current and future farms built by Blend's. These farms include the following. Slime, honey, iron, sugarcane, bamboo, bones, gunpowder, melon, pumpkin, potato and carrots, wool, dyes, arrows, gold, blaze rods, wither skulls, coal, redstone, cobblestone, wood, kelp, and XP, and many more, all for just 64 diamonds. So I'm trying to get one stack of diamonds for each one of these books here. All right, make the smart decision and grab yours today while supplies last. All right, yeah, it's right outside the mushroom here. Hopefully those go pretty quick because that would be nice. I could get some, uh, I could get some, uh, you know, better better stuff going on here and not have to go dig around everywhere which i plan on digging quite a bit anyway but yeah i think this is a this is going to be a lucrative deal for just a little bit here um i do plan on making a ton of farms and that's really what i'm going to spend most of my time doing on this server so yeah might as well make some money off it right away to begin with right all right let me head back over to the island real quick all right i desperately need some levels so i'm going to go ahead and do this so i'm going to kill a bunch of these cows and then we're going to do this a couple times. Maybe I'll get those, uh, those sheep in too. You know, just do some slaughtering today. Because I need some levels to get my uh, pickaxe a little bit better. Hopefully I can get some fortune on there. Maybe some unbreaking and efficiency. That would be fantastic. And I fell in. Well, let's see what else we got. Come on, cows. All right. That gave me not quite one level. <laughs> so let's see what we can do with these guys. All right. That wasn't nearly enough. But I'm going to keep working on that and we're going to get that all taken care of on the next episode because that's all the time I got for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.